Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, Maciej. Um, my name is Tomi uh, uh, uh Welcome to our uh, meeting with the committee. Uh, together with me, uh, Michał Stępniewski and uh, Adam Szczepani. It's, it's nice to have you today. And uh, as you know, we will, you will have five minutes for the presentation and then we will have questions to you. So the floor is yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, so my name is Maciej Multan. Mm, I attend the Poniatowski High School in Warsaw. Mm, I'm in the third grade right now, majoring in chemistry, physics and mathematics. And for a few years, as emphasized by um, my outfit today, uh, it's been chemistry uh, that's been my biggest passion. Uh, but actually, the whole journey started in my childhood when I became interested in nature. Uh, that happened greatly because of my grandparents uh, who live in Podlasie and with whom, as a child, um, I used to look for the tracks of bison uh, or wolves there. Uh, in the summer, in turn, I would also go fishing or uh, pick mushrooms with them. And my parents contributed to that as well. Uh, for instance, uh, they once bought me the caterpillars uh, of the painted lady as a birthday present, uh, and we were able to feed them and observe how they uh, transform into butterflies. Uh, we also bred giant African snails that are able to grow up to the size of a human hand uh, or grew ants. Mm, sometime later in the Montessori primary school, which I attended, uh, I was lucky to meet a passionate uh, chemistry teacher. Uh, and thanks to him in the eighth grade, uh, I decided to take part uh, in the chemistry competition organized by uh, the education office in Warsaw. And after a few months of preparation um, with his support, uh, I did manage to reach the laureate's title, uh, or in fact, I was uh, second in Mazowiecki Voivodeship. Uh, having gained a lot of knowledge because of the competition, uh, I wanted to dive into the practical aspects of chemistry. And firstly, together with my chemistry teacher, uh, we were performing many experiments out of my school, uh, but also after some time, uh, as my experience was a bit greater, uh, I started running a home lab. Uh, being inspired by the literature, the internet, uh, and various YouTube creators, I conducted many interesting experiments, uh, started with, starting um, with simple and the safest uh, ones, like this one. Uh, a genie in a bottle. Mm. Uh, after some time, uh, I moved towards uh, organic synthesis and more complex reactions, uh, which I like to conduct uh, in my free time also now. Uh, my parents sometimes worry that uh, my reagents will soon uh, take the place uh, of food in the fridge, uh, but I always reassured them uh, that I'm in full control uh, of all of this stuff. Uh, because of my passion for chemistry, mm, seeing the Stanford Research Institute uh, is something I really dream of. Uh, I'm sure it would be an amazing inspiration for me, uh, as well as a motivation for further work and um, self-development. Uh, coming back to the school-related topics, uh, having finished my primary school and uh, being able to choose my high school with priority because of the chemistry competition, uh, I went to the Poniatowski High School due to the supportive atmosphere and uh, the high level of chemistry. Uh, and in high sight, uh, I can admit it was a very good choice. Uh, it undoubtedly helped me a lot uh, in pursuing my goals, uh, where uh, the proof of that is the fact that this year I successfully took part in various chemistry competitions, uh, the most notable one being the laureate title in the Chemistry Olympiad. Uh, and it opens the way to all chemistry departments uh, in Poland and perhaps facilitates uh, the recruitment process to the foreign ones as well. Uh, hence, uh, I also consider studying in the United States, uh, maybe at Stanford University itself. Uh, so a trip to the Silicon Valley would be tremendously beneficial for me. Uh, I hope I would be able to verify my point of view um, and knowledge about the educational system in the States uh, and life in America in general then. Mm, my school also gives me the opportunity to participate in various scientific projects uh, and internships which are the most attractive form of learning for me, uh, without any doubt. Uh, this year, I've been working on a school scholarship project uh, at the Warsaw University of Technology, uh, covering the synthesis uh, of some antifungal compounds. 
Uh, for me, actually, it's vitally important uh, not to focus solely on chemistry um, to maintain such a good life balance. Uh, and for many years, I've been training badminton and running. Uh, and also, uh, apart from sports, uh, back in my primary school, I had been learning how to play a transverse flute. Today, I also like to um, relax by playing various popular songs on it. Uh, and I suppose that's all from my side for the moment. And thank you for your attention. And I'm ready for your questions. Thank you very much for your uh, interesting presentation with innovative uh, add-ons, so to say. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and now we'll have questions and start with Michal, uh, please. Yeah. Uh, good morning. My, my name is Michael Stankniewski. I wrote all the documents which you sent. Uh, I didn't see the information about your idols, and you didn't say now about this. And my first question is to this way. Who is your greatest inspiration, uh, of course, after your parents, <laughs> uh, in your life and in doing this, what you are doing now? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, that's a nice question. Thank you for asking it. Um, I'd say that it's uh, Maria Skodowska Curie uh, because she had all uh, the most precious uh, character traits uh, that a scientist can have. Actually, uh, she was extremely uh, focused and passionate on uh, her work. Uh, she had to uh, show uh, an ex ex extraordinary uh, perseverance uh, and uh, motivation to uh, pursue her goals uh, in such a in such a world in such a reality um, as uh, in nineteenth uh, or twentieth uh, century um, as she lived uh, in both of them uh, in such a reality uh, where uh, the whole science uh, and uh, the university related things uh, were overpowered by by man so. Uh, it was an absolutely, um, well, the thing that uh, required extreme, extreme uh, focus and uh, having consistency, uh, patience, uh, hard working um, to be able to uh, to be someone uh, in, in that times. Uh, and also uh, later, uh, her great discoveries uh her work on um radioactivity now uh, with her uh husband uh with Pierre Curie uh as well as uh the discovery of radium and polonium uh and in general uh she proceeded on uh with the work uh that is now the basis uh of uh, the science related with uh, radioactivity so okay. uh, I'd say that because of her character traits, uh, that's why I look up to her. Okay. My, my second and the last question is, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Yes. Uh, after the graduated of the university, Poland or abroad, where would you like to work? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sure I'd like to uh, work in uh, chemistry related topics. Uh, maybe uh, something related with organic chemistry uh, in the laboratory. Mm, but well, it's quite hard to uh, hard to tell right now because there are uh, so many opportunities uh, nowadays and uh, so many possible uh, ways that uh, you can develop uh, that um, I'm really not sure. I'm sure uh, it will be something connected with chemistry uh, because uh, I've been doing it for quite many years now. Mm, and I'm sure I'll be consistent with it. Uh, and I don't know, maybe maybe I'll work in Poland, maybe abroad, but uh, I'm sure it'll be uh, connected with science. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, my colleagues. Thank you, Adam. Uh, over to you. Okay. Hello, Maciek. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Maciek, uh, what opportunities do you hope to gain from your visit to Silicon Valley? Silicon Valley? Uh, what interests you most uh, about the place? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so uh, there is there are two approaches to the question. Uh, first is uh, from the perspective of uh, the elements that uh, we will visit, the, the places uh, we will visit during the trip. Uh, so firstly, the Facebook and Microsoft, uh, I think the products are, um, well, 
uh, tools, tools vitally useful uh, for scientists, and not only for scientists, in fact. Uh, and they are one of the most influential and uh, closely, uh, closely surrounding elements of our everyday life uh, as they create or affect many trends and uh, behaviors in today's society. Uh, and you can achieve an advantageous and uh, conscious perspective when you um, know such uh, influential institutions uh, from the inside uh, or um, know about the mechanisms and the rules present there. Mm, because it also provides uh, the possibility of using uh, their applications uh, in a more responsible and effective way. And secondly, they are a powerful promotional tools. Uh, that's important uh, on the road to being an influential scientist, mm, like uh, having agency uh, or being able to point out uh, some serious problems, uh, spread the information about your research or reach out to other colleagues from the science community. Uh, or find proper research funding and grants uh, enhancing uh, and facilitating uh, okay, much more. elements. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is <laughs> completely enough. Okay, the second one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what would you say uh, is your biggest accomplishment? Something that you are most uh, that you are most proud of and uh, can set you apart from other applicants. Mm. Well, this year my biggest goal was uh, the Chemistry Olympiads. Uh, I'm I quite, I'm quite sure about that mm, because uh, well, mm, the fact that I did succeed this year uh, in it uh, required uh, the whole previous years uh, of hard work and uh, consistency uh, and also uh, being focused. Uh, on deferred gratification instead of immediate gratification. Mm, and so, yes, that, mm, I'd say that uh, the Chemistry Olympiad is, uh, is such a thing. Thank you very much. Maciej, I would, Thank wanted, you. wanted, on the contrary, to ask you about your biggest uh, uh, failure or challenge or problem you had and, you know, how you overcome this, what was the lessons learned uh, after this? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, uh, so maybe um, mm, that's an interesting question. Um, maybe there were there were no challenges. Maybe such there. a mm, <laughs> maybe <laughs> no 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 they were there were a lot. Uh, maybe in my childhood, uh, during my uh, first and uh, the second grade, um, I actually. Uh, was in the public primary school uh, and I'd say that uh, <laughs> that was quite a challenging thing and uh, uh, an experience that uh, taught me a lot about uh, well how our, our educational system works uh, and also uh, well I changed uh, that school uh, in the third grade because of the conditions and uh, well mm, the conditions that weren't quite uh, development promoting and uh, focused on uh, the people as a mass, uh, not as a, as an individuals, uh, without uh, a focus on their passions. Uh, there was just uh, just this uh, mm, this aim to uh, go for uh, go ahead with uh, with the program and. Uh, uh, and okay. uh, teach young young people. Uh, okay, okay, much. I think, um, we, I think we, we, we got it. Uh, yes, we got it. So we're conscious of time. We have to also, um, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, finalize. And uh, to to uh, to summarize with feedback from my side, I liked your presentation and the way you presented. Uh, I think you you're kind of a person that we say that camera likes you. I mean, you it was well prepared, uh, uh, and and uh, I mean that also this. This uh, non-conventional non part uh, uh, must, must be appreciated. So uh, it was great, and uh, I'll keep fingers crossed from my side. And uh, I, Michal, if you could also give short. Yes, much. I'm looking on you. Like, I'm, I'm looking like you. You are a very positive person. The smile, you know, perfect you. English, you know, very well contact with the, with us. And thank you very much for this presentation. Okay, and. Um, I agree with uh, um, 
with Remigius because when uh, applying, when you're applying for such event, it is very important to stand out and to be remembered. So you did it. And uh, mm. congratulations on your creativity. And uh, so I Thank admire you. your knowledge and achievements in chemistry and uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Much. Thank you, Machi, once more from all of us. Tomorrow, uh, please expect an email on uh, with scoring uh, from today's uh, committee. And uh, we wish you all the best, and it was great to have you today. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank you. It was an honor. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.